Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving, and hopefully wherever you are, you're able to be together with your family on this day, and also bite into some juicy, not at all dry turkey. The key is in the basting. Just want to say that my video today has nothing to do with turkeys or Thanksgiving. So here we go. We live in an age where science fiction has edged closer to reality. We discover the God particle, we landed a spacecraft on a shooting comet, somebody finally created the hoverboard. These are all things that invoke a sense of awe and wonder. And as we continue to explore and discover, one of the greatest questions that we continue to try to answer is, are we alone? Is there life out there somewhere? I believe that there are life out there, a lot of life. The universe is so ginormous. In fact, my next video will address how crazy big our universe is. We are literally living on a speck of dust. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that I'm a simple guy. I believe that alien civilizations do exist and I don't need any hard evidence or proof to convince me of that. But this week, a physicist has made claims about life on Mars and how it was all destroyed in a nuclear war. Dr. John Brandenburg, who got his degree at UC Davis, said Mars had two different civilizations of alien humanoids. They were called Cydonia and Utopia. And he said these two civilizations were destroyed by yet another alien race. He made those claims back in 2011, but will present new research at an American Physical Society meeting in the coming weeks. He'll also publish his findings in the Journal of Cosmology and Astrophysics. Brindenburg says that the high concentration of xenon-129 found in the atmosphere and the detected patterns of excess abundance of uranium and thorium on Mars' surface relative to Mars meteorites means that the surface of Mars was apparently the site of massive radiological events which created large amounts of signature isotopes and covered the surface with a thin layer of radioactive debris enriched in certain elements relative to its subsurface rocks. He says that this pattern of phenomenon can be explained as due to two large nuclear explosions on Mars in the past. Other scientists have brought up that, although he's not technically wrong about the soil thing, the discovery of high concentrations of xenon-129 should not be a surprise, as it is a commonly found substance. But Brandenburg is not convinced and will use photos taken from Mars rover Curiosity to back up his claims. He told Vice that, given the large amount of nuclear Clear isotopes in Mars's atmosphere resembling those from hydrogen bomb tests on Earth. Mars may present an example of civilization wiped out by nuclear attack from space. So basically what this guy is claiming is a combination of the movies Terminator, uh, Mars Attacks, and Independence Day. But I'm gonna throw a crazy theory out there for you guys. What if we are actually the Martians. Sounds a bit crazy, but think about it. Let's just say we were all originally living on Mars and uh, there was a big alien invasion and a nuclear blast. So we all had to get off the planet and hit two other planets. So some of us went to Earth, some went somewhere else. And those that came to Earth, maybe uh, our spaceships crashed, we had no technology and we basically had to start over. That could happen. And also that could explain why we're so obsessed with Mars. Wouldn't that be crazy though? All this time we're like investigating Mars looking for signs of life the whole time like we came from there. All right, guys, let me know if you buy the theory that uh, Mars was completely destroyed by a nuclear war. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Have a happy, safe Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much. Don't go into a food coma. Word two. That's all right.